Typically, when you want to create a new presentation in PowerPoint, what you do is you start with a template or a theme. Now, this theme has a default font associated with it. So whenever you type into an existing placeholder, it automatically takes the default font which is best suited for the particular template or theme you are using. Even when you insert a text box and type text, it uses a default font. Now let's look at this slide, the first slide in a new presentation based on a template theme that we have created. The moment I click here and add my title, you will notice that it uses a particular font. Which font is this? Let me select the text here and you can see this uses Century Gothic as a heading font. If we click the arrow here to open the font drop down gallery, you'll notice that you have a list of all the fonts available in your system, but you also have two fonts on the top. These are called theme fonts, okay? So theme fonts uh, can comprise of two fonts. One is the heading font and the other is the body font. In this case, the heading font is Century Gothic and the body font is also Century Gothic. So where is the heading font used? The heading font is used for all the slide titles and the body font is used for almost everything else, okay? Which is not a title, it gets the body font. So, and what happens is in a properly created template or theme, the presentation being based on such a theme, when you go and insert a text box, okay, and type text here, you will notice that this also has a default font associated and this also is Century Gothic over here. In a proper theme or a proper template, both the placeholder fonts and the font that goes for text boxes is going to be same. So as you see, if the default fonts work great for you, then you don't have to do anything. You can just continue working with the same font that's working for you all the time, assuming that your template or theme has been well created and set up. Fortunately, most templates and themes that are built inside PowerPoint function well with proper font defaults. But there are instances where the default font is not used or no proper defaults were set up in the first place. Although your placeholder seems to work well with default fonts, any text box you insert uses another font altogether. Now in this case, uh, my theme font is Century Gothic and I put a text box here and uh, type text over here, it might end up using send, uh, Times New Roman or Arial because uh, the template or the theme is not set properly, okay? In that case, what do you do, okay? Yes, there's a difference between a text placeholder and text boxes and I have provided a link to a tutorial in the description below that explains the differences. We explored that it is not always true that the default fonts may work well probably because the template or the theme that you're using may not be properly created. Also, there's another scenario which where, where you may want to change the default fonts use even though the defaults work fine. Yes, that's your decision. The good part is that it is entirely possible to change the default font for an entire presentation. Rather than going changing the fonts in every placeholder, every text box, what you can do is change the fonts for the entire theme or template. This is called changing the theme fonts. So let's go and do that. As you are aware, Century Gothic is a pair of theme fonts used for this particular presentation. So we'll go to the design tab of the ribbon and go to this variants group and uh, click the more button here. And then we get to fonts and we get to get custom theme fonts that we have here. And these are the theme font sets that come with PowerPoint. So if one of them work well for you, like if I just go and change it to something like the Jill Sands group and you can see everything the fonts have changed for the entire presentation here. But what if you wanted to use fonts that are not in the font groups? What if you want to do, create your own font group called a theme font set? That's possible too. You can go to the design tab of the ribbon, go to the more button in the variance group and go to fonts again and the last option here, it's called customize fonts. So you click on customize fonts and you get this create new theme fonts dialog box and you can go and choose a heading font that you want maybe we'll just go up and use Franklin Gothic book and uh, I'm just going to use something similar from the same family but you can definitely use anything else or maybe I just use Franklin Gothic book for the body and use something more bold and pronounced for the heading just go and take friendly and gothic demi 
and uh, we're going to give it a name. So I'm just going to call it Franklin Gothic Custom and say save. And what it's going to do is two things here. It's going to apply this theme font set to your active presentation. And when you go to your fonts option here, it's going to add that one over here. Okay, so it's added here. But remember, this only stays in the computer where you created it. It doesn't travel to another computer. But what? But but if you use it on a particular presentation, then it travels with it. So that's how you could go and look at what are the actual default fonts used for your presentation and then go and create your own default set that applies the same font to the entire presentation. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you again. Have a wonderful day. Explore more concepts at InDesign.com InDesign. Make better presentations. Fast.